It's Joe, and this is my next project. Sixty-three inches. Dave Molding, I'm calling you out. You said this was too wide? Maybe it is, who knows. I know in the photographs, in the videos, it looks like it's wider because the back end's covered and the body is a little wedge shaped, but the back is 64 inches wide. This is 63 inches wide. We're gonna run wider tires. The tires will stick out even more than that. We're gonna pop those fenders out. We can adjust this with wheel offset. Great question. Come look what we did this week. This top was so limp. We took all the wood out of it and the front just, this just fell down pretty much. So I've got it propped up there and we really weren't building a roll cage. Now that I look at it, I may have could have built a roll cage. That's an inch and an eighth. It's bent a little bit in the middle where it, it fits up tighter to the roof. Welded here. That's the two bolts we talked. You take those out to get the roof off. Two on the other side. This little brace going across here. And then, of course, that's where it joins to the A pillar. Joins to the A pillar over here. And it worked out really good. Oh, I wanted to show you. Sometimes I forget to show you these measurements, but this is, I can't tell if you're seeing it, six and a half inches to the top of this right there. Six and a half there, six and a half on the other side. So it's just gonna be a little slit of a windshield, but actually, the windshield itself will, that's one of the next steps we're going to do is we're going to take some half inch tubing and we're going to build the top of this windshield to come up and over, up inside here, of course. And, you know, I've thought about that. We're going to have the windshield this is gonna be up off the windshield. Every bug on the planet is gonna come right in there. And we just, we need some separation. So when we do this tube that comes up and over, we're also gonna to have to do a little bridge support across here to seal off the bugs and wind and everything. And we'll do a, we'll do a stiffener some kind of stiffener. I don't know what it is. Check this out. Look, watch. Oh, oh. <clears throat> ah, probably not good. <laughs> that makes quite the difference. That's okay. Not to worry. Not time to worry. <laughs> but everything else is going really well. Stuck the fender back on here. The windshield is gonna come down on that. It, like we said, we're gonna have a flat on that, but not ready yet, not quite that time. And as you can see, this grill for the pickup fenders is way over here. This little index line is supposed to be here. So we're really gonna bring this back. What is that, a couple of inches? So this is going to come back a couple of inches. That's going to come back a couple of inches. And we'll, we'll end up, we'll get rid of this little part. We're going to end up cutting this off. We just don't know where yet, but we know we are. Okay, let me show you underneath here. If it doesn't all fall apart. Also, let me cut this. <clears throat> This angle is supposed to be in line with that. We're a little tall. I'm gonna have to cut that down some, but we've been looking for a way to fasten this. We've got it fastened in the front and we can 
we can space it up, down, in, out, forward, backward a little bit. So we've got good adjustment around in here for this. We don't have much adjustment here, but I think we're gonna end up perhaps putting a screw through here, maybe even up here. I may have to re-bracket up. So that's gonna go in there. And we'll cut it down. The little cover, little cover's gonna come down here maybe like that. And here's a, here's a thought for you. I just been thinking about this and I told you this is Texas, and it's usually like Texas hot. And right now, it's like cold. <clears throat> but usually, in the summer, it's like Texas hot. So I was gonna, I'm gonna figure out a way to have a little air conditioning, perhaps, put a window in there. How about some little, little Plex vent glass? How about a little, a little curved vent glass, and we can pop it. Anyway, just a thought. I just think that'd be cool. So, I'm gonna have to get in here. I'm gonna take this top back off and uh, where I can get on top and weld this on top. I wanna weld it while it's all bolted up. And it really, it got, it got pretty stiff. So, I'm liking that. And when we get this bridge across it, it's, just, it's gonna be even nicer. I've got to have a way to seal from the top of this Lexan or windshield, whatever it is, all the way across over there. I don't have to seal it off completely, but it needs to be sealed off pretty good. You set this back. There we go. I think it's looking. I think it's looking good. Can't wait to work on this grill. I've got to have some grill bars and I don't know what to make these grill bars out of. If I get the size of the stainless steel that I want, dad, come, they're expensive. I don't think I can afford those. If anybody's got any suggestions, I would love to hear them. Also, I'm running into another little dilemma and it is going to be uh, the back tires. I'm looking for a size of back tire. I really need 33 inch diameter tires. I'd like them to be 12, 13 inches wide. I, I'm thinking 15s, but I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not particular. I just want to see how they look before you put them on. But, uh, I think I have to have the diameter of the tire, then we'll figure out what size rim I can fit in the available tires, and we'll go from there. And I'm thinking we're gonna have to lower the back of this car because, let me show you on this other side, what's happening is, that's, a, that's about a 29 inch tire right here. I think this is 29 or 30, and I can't get the car to sit down on it. It's it's just too little. So I can't fill up the wheel well with tires so I can bring the wheel well down. And luckily, the only thing holding that wheel well on, you guys remember if you've watched all the videos, this frame is not totally connected, but there. See that little square? I can take that square off. I can lower, I can lower this body all I want. Transmission's not hooked up. The motor's not hooked up. The frame won't move. Nothing moves. The only thing that's really hooked up is this grill is hooked through this bolt right here. So the whole body can pivot from here and I can lower it down a little bit. Anyway, that's some of the thought process that's going on right now. So, but it's gonna have to warm up. 
I've had all these heaters on and it's still too cold in here. So I'm going up to the house. Hey, thanks for tuning in.